Sony has suddenly pulled out of PAX East. They cite concerns of coronavirus. Some gamers in response are calling bullpucky. Who are these gamers? And are their claims even substantiated? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal and y'all know the reason. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. So, Sony and work up to the release of the PlayStation 5 so far has been mum on specifics, right? Uh, and because of that, gamers have been critical of this approach as they yearn for more details. They still had slotted time, however, at PAX East this year to showcase The Last of Us 2. Now they've pulled out from that event citing coronavirus concerns. After that has happened, a sector of gamers are now saying that this is, is an excuse because they have nothing to show. On to the analysis. So. In lieu of that response without details and specifics from Sony on why that's a concern of theirs, a couple of questions as far as I'm concerned pop up. A, who are the people making these claims? And B, are these claims legitimate? Now on to the prescription. First and foremost, I think the discussion as being held right now is very disappointing. Um, and I alluded to so on the prior streamed episode of Scram Punk's podcast, which I uh, participate in weekly every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern at, on Dirk Griggity's channel. Check it out and hit the link below. It's a great show. Um, that said, first and foremost, the majority of people making this claim of, of fake concerns uh, over coronavirus are Xbox fanboys, right? <laughs> Period. They're doing so because they wholeheartedly are stuck in this belief that Sony's lack of vocal output means that Xbox is sure for a win. You know what I'm saying? Like you could plug an HDMI cord into that and play that. So therefore, it's it's clear why Sony been silent because they have nothing to show, right? Um, but. In totality, we know why, if we're looking at this unbiasedly, we know why Sony's been quiet. They've been quiet because of pricing. That's it. As soon as they get that established, and they said they're gonna get that established once they find out what Xbox is doing, and you can feel whatever way you do about that, then the work of their critically acclaimed studios versus Xbox's studios of not of the same ilk will be revealed. <laughs> and that's what everyone should consider the determinant of who will come out where. So this false sense of pride and security behind, they're not saying anything early on, so we're gonna win. It needs to be tossed out the window because it's ridiculous and absurd. Secondly, um, I don't think that these concerns can be labeled as fake at this point in time. Now I'm gonna preface this by preface what I'm about to say with this. If it has been wholeheartedly 150% proven that Sony did skip out for other reasons and they're using the coronavirus as an excuse, then yes, drag them through social media as they deserve to be dragged. The coronavirus is a serious epidemic. Um, people have lost their lives to it. It shouldn't be taken lightly or shouldn't be used as an excuse um, when it's not a factor in the decisions that you make. That being said, on the flip side of that, it also should not be used to fan fanboy fodder, all right? The fact of the matter is, is that we don't have enough concrete proof to lay this on Sony's shoulders it being fake. For the simple fact, hey, we don't know the logistics. And logistics can play a key role in this. No one knows who the staff was going to be used for the planning or the participation at Paxis. We don't know the difficulty in logistics, therefore, how difficult it would be to travel in lieu of the virus, what regions of the world these people were coming from, right? And what cross-contamination could happen because of their travel. And because we don't have those details, anyone claiming anything fake going on indefinitely is, they're doing so way too prematurely, period. Nextly, and most importantly, as far as I'm concerned, Sony staff, could have just been concerned with the large numbers of people that it's going to 
that are going to flock to the event globally. I mean, let's be honest here. And this is something that maybe the Xbox people can't relate to because they had such a dismal generation, but Sony kind of is a big deal. I mean, even though they haven't released anything, anybody that creates content knows about this. Go on YouTube, buddy, look up your tags for what you're going to stamp all over your videos to draw attraction. What's ranking higher right now? Is it Xbox or is it PlayStation 5? with the little bit of information they've given out. It's it's wholeheartedly PlayStation 5. I would say three to one right now at this moment, even though Xbox is giving out all this information and your content creators know this, everybody that tag new tags on websites, they know this, so they need to stop the bull pucky. All right, Sony is a big deal. Sony knows they're a big deal. And because they know this, and they know that even though they've been mum all year about specifics about the PlayStation 5, the simple fact that they're going to show up at PAX East, they know that's going to draw attention from all over the globe, all right? Reporters could be coming and people could be coming everywhere, particularly from areas that are highly affected with the coronavirus. So Sony very e the Sony staff that are supposed to participate could very easily be concerned, voice their concerns to the higher ups and said, you know what? Because this thing is spreading so fast and most of the people that are going to come to PAX East are definitely going to come and see us and we might have more attendance than normal from people internationally. We don't feel comfortable being there. That simply could be it. And you don't have anything to the contrary to prove otherwise for one, and for two, what sense does it make that they're concerned that they don't have nothing to show for the PlayStation 5? Uh, uh, Jim Ryan doesn't care about that stuff. He just don't, we talked about it. They're got, they got MLB going to different platforms doing all this other stuff, and he hasn't said a word, he doesn't care. He just doesn't care, all right? So it doesn't make any sense for people to be focused solely on this stupid stuff about, well, he doesn't care because they don't have nothing about the PlayStation 5 to show, all right? The people very easily can say, you know what? When posed with a question for PlayStation 5, we have plans and we have events centered around that. We're here right now to show you The Last of Us 2 and celebrate this game. That's it. How difficult is that? Come on, so stop the silliness. So, and all in all, because of this, and because people want to beat the brow with this, this is fake, and it doesn't make any sense, and... PAX East is only in Boston, so why would they be concerned about people traveling from Boston when, again, when you look at this thing from 5,000 feet, you're definitely going to have a lot of people from around the globe coming to talk to Sony and get try to get some more hands-on access to any specifics about the PlayStation 5. And the simple fact that we know Jim Ryan's pedigree, he don't care about that type of stuff, so he could very easily just say, no comment, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the same guy that showed up at CES with everybody excited for news that supposedly leaked that there was gonna be some type of reveal, and he just showed a logo. Jim Ryan doesn't care about that stuff. So without any concrete proof, and the fact that we got so many YouTubers and content creators out here playing, fanning the fanboy wars over this deadly virus, I'm disappointed. And I'm disappointed in the reaction. And I'm seeing even bigger entities out there, like I said, doing this stuff, which is even more disappointing. And using comments like, I'm just posing a question, is not a valid excuse either. Look, we have such short-term memory, and I just want to close off by saying this. Haven't we done seen in other social circles what posing questions in a careless manner can lead to, right? If you catch my drift, follow me. So let's take this opportunity to learn from others' mistakes, period. And that's it from your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Art Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that being said, don't, don't fall into this disappointing and repugnant, <laughs> repugnant uh, 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 fanboy fodder. Just wait for news of games, and until then, y'all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.